Hello there audience and people of the world that are living outside the area in which I live. Today me and Busky have a very interesting experiment. We have a phone book. It's a phone book. It is a phone book. It's a phone book full of phone numbers in book form. So there's two things I want to see. What would happen if we hit this phone book? Wow, that was that was awful English. I have two different tests to run on this phone book right now. I'm going to hit it with a 22, just because I want to see how devastating a 22 would be against a phone book. I foresee it not doing much at all. And then we have a couple of uh, Hornady red tip 308 rounds that we are going to fire from my extremely sketchy 308 Mauser. We're about to find out if this rifle is Hornady. Yeah, we're about to find out if this rifle can sustain firing this ammo. So, Busky, I will need you. Well, I would say hold the camera, but we do have the camera stand right here. So we're going to set that right there. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is fire a round from my Ruger. 22, Mark 3. And we're going to see what it does. Almost nothing. Makes a big noise. That's it. Okay, <laughs> let's go see what sort of damage this thing actually did. Where's our entrance? Right there's our entrance. Is there an exit? There is an exit. Oh. Yeah, look at that exit. I was not expecting a 22 to make a hole that big. But man, it tore right through that. Alright, we're going to step it up to a slightly larger caliber. <laughs> Slight, Slight enlargement of the caliber a here. Slightly more damaging type of bullet. <laughs> I totally foresee this doing tons and tons of damage. It, it does no damage. It like bounces off. Why don't you do less damage than the 22? <laughs> I'm going to use my ears for this one. You might want to cover your ears, because if we survive, this is going to be loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, I hope this is correct. I'm not even sure if this is the right type of ammo. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> if the gun flies apart, it's not the ammo's fault. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Yep. Wow, that's a lot of recoil. <clears throat> and the gun's pressure locked. But that's fine, I'll handle that in a second. <laughs> yeah, I was really expecting this gun to do a lot more damage than that. Well, let's come have a look. This right here is just this side. Right there is where you can really smell the burning paper. Right here is where the 308 went in, and right here is where the 308 came out. That was pretty awesome, I won't lie. Yep, completely devastated all of that. I wonder if there's any jacket or anything in here. Nope, I'm not seeing any sort of copper jacket. We got little bits of the red plastic that was on the round. Let's hit a piece of wood. Yeah. And see how devastating this 308 ground is. So give us a second here. Go ahead and turn it around so we can see the exit wound very clearly. There we go. That'll serve. You can go ahead and lean it up. Lean it up against the phone book. <laughs> Let's see what sort of devastation it has whenever the round hits the phone book. So we've decided that the modern extremely hot ammunition is not designed for this little 1916 Oviedo Mauser, but we're using it anyway. <laughs> it is 308 ammo, after all. I'm only human, after all. Let's see now. Yep, 308. Okay, so we're gonna hit that wood with one of these red tip rounds, which cost me about a dollar a bullet. And we're gonna see what sort of devastation it causes. Are you ready, Musky? Yep. That was awesome. I felt so much 
That is a lot of recoil on this thing. Whew. Okay. Gave you a headache. Oh, you'll be fine. Let's come see just what this did. I love the way it smells. Me too. Pretty devastating. Exit wound. Look at how big the entrance wound is. Christ. I like this ammo. <laughs> All right, what else should we shoot? Shoot your dad's car. Shoot my dad's car, huh? I don't think he'd like that, but I'm okay. sure we can find something. All right, we've elected to shoot that big slab of concrete because it seems like the most durable yet most sightable thing that we could fire upon. <laughs> with our 308 ammo. Busky, can I convince you to be the cameraman? Yes. Hold my camera, please. But you didn't convince me yet. Do it or I'll skin you in your sleep. <laughs> that, that makes me not want to be the cameraman. <laughs> You're a maniac. All right, here we go. These are the red tip rounds. We're firing right at that hunk of cement. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Damn. That is a ton of recoil this thing has. And it's locked again. Okay, let's go see just what that did. That's this rifle. Impressive. I know, right? Look at that. Now that is a hunk. Not as big as some of the other hunks we've had. But remember, those are full metal jackets that made those other ones. These are incendiary. We should, we should find something. Somewhere that we could really use to experiment with these things. But we'll do that later. Me and Busky are gonna go pick up a pizza, so this video was kind of short-lived, but I wanted to test out the new ammo. That being said, have a fantastic day.